This is the Xrexis large digital clock with date and temperature display. Let's take it out of the box. Actually, before we take it out of the box, I wanted to point out that I have actually reviewed this exact clock before. However, this is an upgraded version and it adds the capability of Wi-Fi setting to the clock so you don't have to set it manually. What I'm going to do is run the previous review because all of the other functions are absolutely identical, but there are going to be just a couple of styling changes. The first change is that the manual reflects the Wi-Fi, and the second is in the remote. They're otherwise pretty much identical. Buttons in the same place do exactly the same thing. This is the older one, which has a shinier bottom piece. This is the newer one here but it also includes an extra button timer reset and I'm going to show you all about that later as well as how to set the clock using Wi-Fi. So with that said, let me show you everything in the box from the previous review, how you set it, how it all works, and then we'll get into the Wi-Fi and the timer reset and all of that. In the box you get the manual, a remote control. Yes, your clock is now remote controlled. They even include the batteries for it. They are actually pre-installed in the remote. However, they're wrapped in plastic, so it won't make contacts. You do need to take them out and take the plastic off. And that's why the, I'm showing them to you here. Power adapter for the clock. Yes, it must remain plugged in. However, the clock also does take batteries, but those batteries are simply for memory retention. They will not run the clock. It must be plugged in at all times. Conveniently, also, they give you a mounting bracket uh, um, placard here, so you can put this up on the wall, tape it up on the wall, and mark your holes, drill them, and install appropriate hangers for the clock. It is able to be placed on a desk just like that. It has a flip-out stand on the back. I'll show you all of this in a second, uh, or it can be hung up. So now, let me show you more about the clock. We'll start with the back of the clock, flip out stand, as you see right here, for placing it on a desk or anything. And of course your hanging holes, as I mentioned, you can use the included template to mark that. So now there's a few important things that we need to go over here. Yes, it comes with remote and you can do everything with the remote. However, it also has buttons right on board. So if you prefer the old school approach, you can certainly do that. There are also batteries pre-installed in here, once again, for memory retention. This is the cover for it. I also noticed this here, and it looks like something is broken or missing. It's not. That's supposed to be there. That is the temperature sensor. So if you see that little thing hanging out, it's supposed to be there just like that. That's the temperature sensor. Your brightness adjustment. There are four different brightness levels. You can set it to auto high or low and it's also configurable through the remote as far as the AC power adapter like I said that must be plugged in that goes in the battery compartment down in that corner so even with this closed you will see there is a channel where you run the wire either through here or directly up the back to go into that and plug in so just to show you that's how the plug would go in more or less you can of course just come straight down if it's going on a wall if you'd like that instead now this is a 16.5 inch display but the time characters themselves the time display is 4.84 inches high let's go ahead and apply power to the clock nice and big and bright beautiful all around so now there's a few things that we're going to want to do here and talk about first of course is setting the time and everything else temperature as you see when it comes back to it it switches between the date and the temperature is in Celsius that however can be changed very easily to Fahrenheit and the clock display can also do 24 hour time that's how I prefer it and in Fahrenheit so that's how I'm going to be setting it so with a clock with all of this going on it's got to be really difficult to set right no it's really easy i'm going to use the remote just because this way my arm won't have to be in the shot like that 
You have a set button here. Press the set button. It asks for the language. English is what I'm speaking, so we'll hit set again. Now it asks for the year. You have down and up on the sides here. So it is 2022. We'll hit set again. And now it asks for the month. This is going to be two. And I believe it is the 16th. It is indeed. So we'll hit set again. Now it asks for the time. It is three o'clock on the dot. Hit set and you're done. So with a matter of three buttons, set and the up and down, you've set everything you need. Now, if you want 12 hour time, if 1500 doesn't mean anything to you, well look right there, 12 24 hour button, press it, done, 3 p.m. I'm gonna set it back because that's where I like it. As far as the temperature, Celsius or Fahrenheit, there's a button for it. Let's wait for that to come up. Press the button, bam. Just like that, it's all set. There you go. A beautiful, large clock can be put on the wall or on a desk or table, but yet, of course, there's more. This also has a built-in timer, so it would make a great kitchen clock. Maybe you're baking something and it's going to take a half hour in the oven or something like that. So the way you work the timer, center button right here says timer, so we'll press that and it gives us the display. Now for that you have minutes, seconds, and hours right here. Let's set it for, oh, 10 seconds. And then in the upper right corner, you have the timer STSP, start, stop, start. And it's going to count down and it'll ring off when we get there. Just like that. And then we can go back to the main time just by pressing the timer button in the center again, and we're back there. This also has an alarm clock. So for the alarm, we'll press alarm set, and then the set button will go to change things, and then we're going to turn it on. You'll also notice up here there is a bell that has come on. And what I'm going to do is set this to, let's say, 4 p.m. It remembers that it is in 24-hour time. I'll hit set. Don't need the minutes. Set that. And we can leave the 1E there. The 1E means every day. You can do 2E, which means Monday through Friday, or 3E, which means weekend. We'll do it every day. We'll hit set. And that is now set. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and set the time to 3.59. So we'll run that up. And we'll hit set. And now at uh, 1600 hours it should ring off. So we'll just wait for that. And there is your alarm, just like that. So there we are. That's the alarm function. And like I said, you can do that every day, only Monday through Friday, or only Saturday and Sunday. There is also an hourly chime function. So to do that, you press the alarm set button right there for two seconds.
that's your first hourly chime that you could set or or simply like that and you can press set and then MOD for mode mode 1 is to not chime mode 2 would be an hourly chime mode 3 chimes from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. off so it won't chime from that time but it will do it from 6 to 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. if you wanted that instead So I'm going to set this back to the real time. Which is 312 at this point. And there we are. So I'm going to leave the hourly chime off. I've reset the alarm to turn that off as well. And we also have the brightness to talk about. You also, by the way, have a volume control right here up and down for the hourly chime if you wanted to do that. So now the brightness is set to auto, okay? But you can still adjust it on auto down from here. You see, I don't know if the camera can make it out. It gets dimmer but then a bit brighter because it depends on the ambient light that's in the room. I'm going to now change the switch in the back of the clock so you can see the difference with that. So that's high brightness, and if I go ahead and change the switch over to low brightness, it's hard, you know, to hit it not seeing it. There's your low brightness right there. Let me shut the room lights out. So at low brightness, it's perfectly fine as it is. It's perfectly readable like that, and you can still press the buttons on the remote to raise that. So you have actually four levels right there, as you see. So you can manually set that on the back of the clock to auto, low, or high, but then you can adjust the brightness, as you see like that, to one of four different levels and set it to where you'd like. And in the auto mode, it will automatically adjust the brightness of the display depending on the brightness in the room. I'm going to step over to the light switch and turn that off. It takes just the most brief second. Hopefully the camera will pick it up. So if I go ahead and turn off the lights, just a moment later, it gets dimmer. And if I turn the lights back on, it takes just a moment for these preheat bulbs to get back on. It slowly increased back in brightness. And if I shut the lights once again, you'll see it drop back down to that lower level. Just like that and then it will slowly come back to brightness as all of the bulbs light back up. So now that you've seen the clock and everything it can do, I'm going to show you how to set the clock using the Wi-Fi. To do that, you must power the clock on while holding the alarm set and timer buttons. So, hold those buttons down, and I'll go ahead and plug it in. And let me flip the clock around so you can see it. You're now going to take your smartphone or tablet and go into your Wi-Fi settings. All right, once in there, we're going to let this scan for new networks. And in fact, it's already come up. This one down here, uh, which reads HQX, etc., etc., we're going to go ahead and connect to that. And there we are. We're connected. Now we'll go to our browser. We're going to go to 192.168.88.1. You just type those numbers in, make sure you get all the numbers right and the periods, and we'll go. Now, I'll blow this up a little bit, web config or upgrade. So you can actually upgrade the firmware on it, but we're going to go to web config, and we'll blow that up so we can see it. 
So now it wants to know the Wi-Fi network that you have in your house. So let me hit the down arrow on that. I'll select the appropriate Wi-Fi network and I'll enter in my password. And this is all explained in the manual. You then want to set your time zone, also explained here as far as the number that you should choose, depending on if you're in Eastern Time, Mountain Time, uh, Central Time, um, all that kind of stuff. So once you have that all set, and you've set your time zone, okay, take a look at the clock there. We'll hit submit. It says success. And there you go. Time and date are automatically set. Nothing to it. We also now have the addition of the DST for daylight savings time. So it'll show you if that is uh, daylight savings time or not and your Wi-Fi signal with the strength in the upper right hand corner there. So now let me show you the timer and how you can reset it so much easier. So we'll go ahead and hit timer there as we did and I'll set it again for five seconds and then up here timer start stop we'll let it count down Okay, so we know that, but it used to be a lot more difficult to reset it, but not anymore because you have a timer reset button, press it, and it's reset, and you are back to uh, that. So now, uh, once again, you can still change your display from 12 or 24-hour time and your temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. That's where I like it, so that's where I'm going to leave it. There's also another feature you can set. You see how the clock switches between the temperature and the month and the date. But if you now hold the 1224 hour button down for about two seconds, it comes up month temp date. So that's what it normally does. We can press it and now have it month and date and hit set. And now it's only going to display the month and date. We'll hit it again, and then we'll go ahead and change that temperature set, and it shows only the temperature. You can press it again and go back to month temp date. So right now it's on temperature, and it will go back to the month and the date. So once again, this is the greatest clock. I've had this clock for going on, um, let's see, about seven months now. It has been fantastic. I have this up on the wall in my kitchen. I can read it from not only the other end of the kitchen where the table is where we sit, but also outside at the far end of my backyard. I can actually read not only the time, but also the day and the temperature as it shows there. I can read all of that and that's going to be going oh easy about 50 feet out from from there and probably in the order of 65 to 70 feet away from the clock. Hugely hugely readable display. You can see it from anywhere with all of the adjustments you have. It gives you full control over absolutely everything and with the addition of these new features such as the timer reset button makes it a lot more convenient to use and the Wi-Fi setting I mean that's just fantastic. You don't even have to set the clock or do anything. You have your phone with you at practically all times anyway except for when you're in the shower so <laughs> you know you can now just set it right from that very nice and easy. Of course, you could put in that uh, IP address as a shortcut or a favorite, I should say, in your phone uh, in the browser, and that way you can connect to it. Just make sure you connect to the clock's Wi-Fi, and then uh, once you hit update, within two seconds, it automatically sets. So once again, this was the Xrexis large digital clock with date and temperature display. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, 
make sure you click subscribe and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.